do. Hello, great friends. How's everybody doing tonight? What's going on? We can't see no faces there. It's, it's a total blackout. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Now, hey, James. How's it going? Great, great. I'm glad to see you. Greetings, my friend. Nice meeting with you. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to see you with us. Always a pleasure. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm fine, fine today. today. Thank, Thank you. you. Very good. Very good. And we got Richard and Johnny with us and also Fifi. And I'm sure that the rest of our friends will be joining soon. Johnny, how you doing, sir? Um, yeah, yeah, very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Been a long day, but it's good to be here with all the friends. Yes, it gives, indeed. Uh, the energy and the feeling of uh, connection and real life. So I'm very happy to be here. The harm to that. Hey, hey, Richard and Johnny, how's it going, guys? Great to see you too as well. So, uh, hey, 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 hey. how are you doing? Thank you, Thank my, you my friends. friends. Uh, hey, hey. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> have it, have it. I did, did, did. Thank, Thank you. you. Absolutely amazing. So, friends, we are going to get underway, as we always do about this time, um, and we hope uh, more friends will be joining us soon. I'm sure everybody's still traveling home from work and things of that nature and getting ready to get suited in. Um, Johnny's going to start with an opening intention, and today we took our, um, our reading today, we took it from the... Uh, Oh, Johnny's having some technical di difficulties here. All right, we good? Yep, yep. All right, make sure you don't clip your chest hair, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we took our reading today uh, from the Daily Direction uh, because we think that it's very, very important uh, for one, for friends who didn't get to make it to the lesson today, but also the Daily Direction is not put there for no reason. It's put there because these are the thoughts of the Rav, the thoughts of, uh, of the direction that the friends should be, be headed toward, should be focused on. And it's very important that we, uh, we keep in line with BB. Um, I'm a big fan of, of Rabash and the Rabash articles. I love the Rabash articles. This is also from, uh, from the Rabash, but this is from Shamati. Um, and Shamati is also just like a just like uh, the, the book of Rabash, Shamati is also, um, you know, the, the friends made a, made a, like a little rap song, you know, it's called I Got Shamati On Me. You guys probably heard it before. Uh, and it's because it's, it's, it's usually a little small book that we carry in our back pockets. We carry it with us all the time. Um, sometimes when you're at a break at work or whenever you're on the bus or on the train or wherever you can always pull it out and you can, you know, we always have this thing where with Shamati we never, um, we never like pick out a page that we're going to read. We just open it and wherever we open it at, we just start reading from there. So uh, we're going, we're going to the daily direction right now. And uh, so Johnny, can you, uh, can you read us the opening intention? Yep, sure can. Okay, so 211, uh, Shabbati 211, yeah? As I was standing before a king, I heard on Elul of 1st, August 28th, 19, 1938, one who is sitting at one's home is not like one who is standing before a king. This means that faith should be that he will feel as though, he's, as, as though he is standing before the king all day long. Then his love and fear will certainly be complete. And as long as he has not achieved this kind of faith, he should not rest. For that is our lives and the length of our days, and we will accept no recompense. And the lack of faith should be woven in his limbs until the habit becomes a second nature, to the extent that when I remember him, he does not let me sleep. But all the corporal matters quench this desire, since he sees that anything that gives him pleasure, the pleasure cancels the deficiency and the pain. However, one must want no consolation and should be careful with any corporal thing that one receives so it will not quench his desire. This is done by regretting 
that by this pleasure the sparks and powers of the vessels of Kedusha, sanctity, are missing in him, meaning the desires for Kedusha. And through the sorrow, he can keep from losing the vessels of Kedusha. Nechaim, friends. Nechaim. Nechaim. And if you guys don't know what the uh, word means, the word means the word kedusha in Hebrew uh, translates to the word sanctity. So I'm sure we're all familiar with the English version of the word sanctity is is the the word for kedusha. Um, I think it's very very important that this article came out today. Um, it was one of the reasons that we selected it because Rav gave a uh, a very great interpretation. Uh, he gave a very very I don't know. Rav is Rav. He, he gives, he's, you know, so when, when people say like, oh, you're a teacher, you're a teacher. I'm not a teacher. We only have one teacher at B'nai Baruch and that's Rav. The rest of us instru instructors or coordinators or, but uh, there's only one teacher here and there's only one who can interpret uh, the upper world and, and relay it to us in a way that we can understand. And that's our, our great Rav. So uh, without further ado, uh, hey, Gottfried, how you doing? Glad you're with us, Reinhardt. Always good to see you. Uh, without further ado, we're going to play the clip, uh, and then we'll keep on and continuing. Shmueli, yes, clip akshav? Tadaraba. One who is sitting at one's home, meaning a person's desire inside his ego and it's not the same as one standing before a king because then he feels how opposite he is at least to some extent if he's already standing before the king this already being great degree where he can compare himself with the creator where he can equalize himself with the creator and then even his prayer, it's not that things will be good at home or anything, but for him to be adhered with the Creator. And so that he'll feel that in bestowal and coming out of himself, that this is where our, the length of our days is, our life and the length of our days. These are things that you achieve through very meticulous and lengthy work, and then a person starts feeling, what are we talking about here? that he starts feeling that, that there is something about being before the king he's given different temptations and compensations just for him to let it go and then he runs away if he doesn't understand this game that's being played with him He's given some kind of a nice job. He's being advanced nicely in something. He's led to be engaged in some nice thing. Or, God forbid, through problems and troubles at home and life. And this is how a person's tested. And it's not that he's tested. The Creator doesn't need to test him. But for him to see how much he's, he falls and doesn't, and how much he has to grow stronger in order not to waste his life on the different games of this world and to finish everything this way. So there's nothing greater than standing before the king. So friends, as we just heard Rav say, there's nothing greater than standing before the king. Question for the workshop. What does it mean to be standing before the king? And how can I 
bring all my friends together to stand with me before the king. And because of that look on his face, I'm going with Reinhardt today to start. <laughs> I was I was just wondering when you're going to start growing a beard, Anthony. No, um, you know in Israel you need to have a nice Hasidic beard. Um, the greatness of, uh, um, sorry, that's um, and I completely forgot what I wanted to say. Sorry, guys. Uh, Anthony, ask your question again. Wait, wait. I'll read it. What does, what it, does mean it mean to be standing? standing um, fear and awe. That's what I wanted to say. F fear and awe. Um, uh, this uh, standing in front of the king, this is for me, this is part of my preparation to coming to meetings and coming to the lesson. Um, this is how I try and awaken myself by asking myself, what what form would I take on if, if I would be standing right now uh, in front of the king, in this case, the, the creator? You know, what, what how, how should I present myself uh, what should I say? What should I sound like? What should I look like? And then what would I be feeling? What what awe and, and trepidation would I be feeling by standing in front of the creator of the universe? Um, so for me, what, what uh, to connect us to the question, this is to, to stand in front of the creator because this is my preparation, but it's, it's my preparation to, towards standing in front of the creator, which is to come to the assembly, to the gathering of friends. Um, James. <clears throat> Thank you, my brother, Riyadh. I'm happy for your contributions. Uh, my brothers, to stand before the king is to stand before the creator, is to be like the creator to assume the creator's quality and to drink from the source of wisdom. And uh, as it is uh, not possible for us now to attain the creator, but through meeting with friends, so we are doing it gradually. So connecting with the friend is like standing before the, 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 the king. So the lessons we are getting, we are gaining and getting from this environment is a very unique one that will make someone to realize, to achieve his goal. Thank you. Uh, Hi. Richard. 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 Thank you, James. Thank you. I don't know much more to say. Like what you said was 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 perfect. Um, uh, maybe I can just add that um, I can't stand in front of the Creator um, alone. I can only stand in front of the Creator um, with 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 the friends. Um, otherwise, the Creator won't even see me. Um, so we need to we need to stand stand together and make sure that. Um, we can handle standing in front of the creator. We've dealt with all the shame. Uh, we've dealt with, um, you know, whatever is blocking us and keeping us away from, from being able to stand in front of him. So the work lies in the group. Um, it's overcoming all those little, little things that are keeping us away. Um, to be able to not have our heads explode when we stand in front of the creator. Um, so yeah, the home. Uh, Johnny? Sure. Yeah, this, this, this is a real uh, deep, deep question. Um, in, in order to have this um, happen, it's, it, you, you know, quite often how Rev keeps teaching us and saying to us, this is not a short term thing and how often we, we, we apply imagination into the situation. But if we follow the method so meticulously and, you know, have, have it trialed and errored with all the trials and tribulations one can go through, 
but really being meticulous about the the, the detail of it. Um, and at at some stage, where we will feel those those specific moments of our existence um, versus you know that's our eternal life, and you know that's this creature and creator kind of scenario. So it's it's really it's you know it's unexplainable, and I don't think words can actually describe what this is and how can we transcend words into action so that we can really feel this with every fiber of our bodies. Um, yeah, what an experience this will be, and hopefully we'll, we will all attain it while still living in this world. L'chaim, Godfrey? Yeah, Richard. I said, Richard, Johnny, I've listened to you intently. I don't know whether I have enough words to, to say that we are so privileged to have this wonderful souls, this great, great, great souls, able to create that environment that enable us, enable me, to stand before the Holy of Holies. All what I can think of is that the Creator bestow upon those people, this my group, that make this attainment possible. Uh, there is nothing again in this incarnation we can attain than feeling the presence, than being in his presence. Because uh, by that attainment, almost the right reform has reformed you completely reformed. And therefore you have a very wonderful feeling. And I think that it's a privilege for this wonderful friends who are assembled here today, who I can see their faces, feel them to make it possible for us to achieve that goal. Like, I'm good friends. Uh, I call the... Yeah. Yeah, my brother, Godfrey, thank you very much. <clears throat> uh, after listening intently to uh, the friends, I am so much impressed about the answers. And what comes to mind readily is if you appear before the creator and you make your submission and the creator asks you, what is your evidence that uh, you have complied with the instruction of love one another or love your friends as yourself you will now be given leave to leave the presence of uh, the creator come back to look for your evidence and that might take you the next 1000 years but if i should appear before the creator with my brothers my sweet and lovely brothers, my brothers that I share all differences with, my, brother, my brothers that I hold in the highest of esteem. This is ample evidence that I have honored that misvot. And I will not be expected to provide any evidence. So together, as one man with one heart, we will triumph and save the king. Lahaim. Um, get. Can we have get? He is uh, as man when one man with one heart, as you said. Uh, by me raising the friends up uh, in connection uh, above my reason, uh, bringing them, I bring them in front of the Creator. In, in only in that action uh, can we come to that. Uh, is is how we see the friends uh, as perfect and whole. Oh. Uh, 
uh, and that's the only action I can make is to to bring my friends in front of the creator, in front of the king. It's there is no way for me to do it uh, for myself. Uh, it's it's in the eyes of of the friends uh, what what they see and what they do. So the fine yes, as one man in one heart. Uh, Fifi. All right, thank you very much, friends. Uh, please, can we hear me? We can hear you, Fifi. All right, thank you, Dad. Um, what does it mean to stand before the king, and uh, how can you stand before the king with the friends? Um, that's a great question. Uh, it's all about um, acknowledgement. And um, when we are not ourselves together before the king, I think that is the gateway for us to stand before the king. Because if we could not know ourselves with the friends, and then I think we cannot even stand before the king. Because um, that is the gateway for us to stand before the king with our friends. So, what I would say is that uh, it's all about love, um, connection, and then understanding. Because um, before, let's say, um, Ralph said once, I go in uh, one of the congress and they say, behind the friend is the creator. So if you really understand the friend and know yourself, then I think from the friend to the creator is like love of friends and to the love of the creator. So uh, if we could uh, know ourselves, the friends, that can now be the gateway to us. And the people that can our friends, the higher friends, and I uh, would choose. Anthony, please um, think about this. Thank you, Fifi. Thank you very much. Um, so my answer is that I feel that this is a situation where one needs to pray. Because um, we know that everything is perception of reality. So I feel like I'm truly standing before the king every time I'm with the friends. Every time I am uh, here at the center, every time I'm, I'm, I'm with you all in, in a meeting, every time I am, anytime I'm in contact with the friends, I'm truly standing before the king. But I really feel like if the creator would actually take the perception, change my perception, wipe the fog out of my eyes, I could truly see you as the king. The only way that we'll be able to stand before the king, before the creator, together as one, is when we are together truly as one, is when we, 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 we rip the garments off that separate us and we're actually together as one, and then we, we'll see the king all around us. Because the king is here, the king is, is was within the friends. Um, so at this point, I just want to pray that the Creator brings us together with unity, with love, with understanding. Not to be wise men, but just the understanding that uh, that we can see. The king is here. The king is all around us. The king is right in front of our faces right now. It's on this screen. It's going to be in that morning lesson tomorrow. It's everything that we do together. Laheim friends. And uh, I'm going to choose Johnny. Yeah, a very, very powerful text. Um, the Kabbalists say that we need to do a couple of things in order to be prepared that we can uh, see the face of the king. And that uh, those things are to lower ourselves uh, you know, lower the ego to zero, um, and uh, and you know the prayer before the prayer, and the prayer itself, in order to reach equivalence of form in force uh, between us. So there has to be a force of bestowal between us, in order to at the center of the group, at the center of the ten, in order to create some type of uh, equivalence or form with the four upper force. So 
And that's what we, we need. To, we need to go through, the, I think, those processes, uh, friends. Uh, and uh, not, easy, not easy work, uh, but we can only do it together. Because I, Jonathan, I don't exist in the spiritual. Only we, our common uh, points in the heart, when we, when we, when we join it together, are, are existing as, uh, as a clea in the up, upper worlds, and then we can have uh, some type of communication with the upper force, with the Creator. So we just need to encourage us, to, to encourage each other on the greatness of this work, uh, to follow the steps. Uh, it's like you go to the gym, you know. This is what the instructor says. You've got to do one, two, three, four in order to build the, the muscle. And that's what the Kabbalists say that we need to do. And every day we need to go through these processes even when we're not in the morning lesson, during the day, think about the friends, not about ourselves. Uh, do the, you know, be in the process of the prayer, the common prayer, and develop that prayer and build on it. And then together we, excuse me, ultimately we can, uh, uh, we can reach the stage of, uh, you know, be standing before the king. Because we feel him, because we're in the like equivalence of form in, uh, in characteristics or in nature to what he is and uh, we can start uh, starting this process of communication. Uh, the Chaim friends. Uh, Tuso, are you, are you able to talk, uh, buddy? Tuso wrote in that he's, uh, well, it says here Tuso at hospital. So Tuso, we hope that you are are okay we want you to know that, that we're thinking about you um and we hope everything is going okay so you're in our hearts and you're in our thoughts and uh please let us know uh how you're doing at a later time if you have the ability to speak or even write into us but uh just know that we're with you friend now friends this is going to lead us to um to our next workshop question because last week uh, we met with Shimon this past Sunday. We got some really, really good news. The African Congress is official. Um, he told me that Rob is, uh, is already looking at tickets. Um, I made like a little mini post on my Facebook page just because I was like really happy and excited. And then all of a sudden it just started going crazy and everybody has been like, yeah, we're going to Ghana. We're going to Ghana. Yeah, we're going to Africa. All right, it's going to be great. So um, the whole center here is really rallied up behind it. Uh, I even spoke with some of the friends in Los Angeles uh, who have helped put on several congresses. One of the friends that you guys might know, his name is Avi Moyal from the Los Angeles group. He was actually, um, actually the first guy who ever gave me my first Kabbalah book in Dallas. I knew Avi Moyal since I was about... 13 years old. Um, so after our group kind of, uh, not really split, but friends started moving to Israel. Uh, Avi and another one of our friends from Dallas moved to Los Angeles. But he's really heavily involved in the North American Congresses every year. Um, he was He's actually a CIO for a company, so he handles a lot of the technical things of that nature. But uh, to meet this guy and talk to him, he's got a really big spirit. He's really hyper. He's really full of love. And uh, so he will be joining us in, uh, in the, not this coming up month because of the holiday. But he's going to join on the Zoom just to, to speak with everyone. And uh, as I told you, we start bringing friends in to, to talk to us about the Congress and things like that. So he's one of the guys who will be uh, coming to, to talk to us and give us a little inspiration. Um, but our, our, our next question is, is really, really, uh, it's, it's written simple, but it's actually quite difficult in practicality. It's, you know, words are easy to say, but practicality and actions are something different. So the next question is, what is the most important condition? Let me, let me start over. With the announcement and finalization of the 2019 African Congress, how can we increase our desire and what is the most important conditions for a successful gathering? What is the purpose of such a gathering? And uh, this time I think we'll start with y'all.
Yeah. Lah, hi Tony, thank you very much. Uh, I think with this uh, announcement, it is for the friends to get together in unity in obeying the rules and the dynamics of group work, loving one another and sharing all experiences to be able to build a strong force to get involved in dissemination, broadening the, the base of the African clay and announcing with enthusiasm the coming to Africa of the first Kabbalah Congress. It is most essentially our dissemination or our publicity should be very high and very effective. We should do it as a team, as a team of the African clay, Lahaim. Um, okay, Godfrey. Yeah, thanks, yo. Thanks, yo. Thanks for the, with the announcement. There have been several hearts yearning for the reforming light to work on Africa. The friends have cried to the creator for it to happen. And the creator have answered our prayers. If a single purpose, one common thing that we need most is that we continue yearning for a gathering that makes it so unique, that makes the connection so deep, deep, deep that the whole world cream is elevated. I mean, feel the creator so much that the ego, that oneness of humility, that it ripples transform Africa and the whole world. We are therefore praying that with this announcement, all populations, all intentions is guided, deed, is world towards this one purpose of the whole world assembling to for that one common purpose for the reforming light to work. I ask Richard to continue. Lahai. Hi. Hi. Sure, yeah, it's, uh, it will be the first Kabbalah Congress on on the on Mother Africa. So um, it's almost like we're bringing it back to Africa in a way, um, which is which is really really exciting. Um, I think that what I'm quite excited about. Um, and what I think maybe the, the purpose behind this is, is to, um, you know, inform the African people that there is such a wisdom out there um, and that it is the wisdom of connection and that there are already groups in, in Africa um, that, are, that are practicing, meeting, coming together um, and, you know, showing them that there is, you know, some sort of foundation that which we've established um, over the past, I mean, Renat and Nemapinia for like over 10 years. Um, so it's time to grow it. Um, and I think the purpose is to grow it, um, to turn it into a nice network that can make the rest of the world be envious. So, yeah, um, Yeah, um, it's Africa's turn to, to bring this this goal to the world clip to almost as a first question it is to, to rise the the whole world clip before the king to, before the, the creator to give them the opportunity to to connect to one another so that they can 
verb of reason in, in a corrected state. We as hosts need to be totally nullified uh, towards this, this goal. We need to, to see the greatness in, in the world tree and in, and in humanity. That, that's our place. That is how we can make this a success is by nullifying ourselves and raise the importance of the goal to the whole world tree. Uh, very nice. Thanks. Yeah. Um, you know, it says the creator planted the, the pillars in each and every generation. And uh, the friends of this African men's group, you know, these friends, they are the pillars uh, of this wisdom within Africa, meaning everything that follows from this, or well, I want to say from this day forward, but already since we started, but everything that follows from us, it, it's, it's built on us. We are, we are the foundations. And from here, you'll see, we'll see how uh, Africa and, and, and in fact, our world, but uh, let's talk about Africa, how Africa will, will uh, evolve. And it's, it's all around this group of men. Uh, so you are the, the, the greatest of the tree. It's not just the words that we're uttering, like just throwing out there. We see how the creator has come and cherry picked each and every one of you. Um, so uh, it's, it says uh, those who have been given a lot, uh, a lot is expected. I can't exactly remember how it's uh, worded, but the creator has given us uh, a lot and he is expecting a great deal from us. So this Congress for me is kind of like uh, uh, an excuse we can use to, to start putting on our big boy pants and start coming into our role as as that foundation for for all the friends in, in Africa. Um, you know, we've we've been um, eating out of the hand of mom and dad of the mother and the father. Uh, it's time for for the, the, the son to to grow up and to to leave the house and to get a wife and a family by himself and to start raising that family by himself as well. So this is for me, this Congress is for me, this kickstart that we now uh, desperately need to go into that next level of, of our spiritual work. So I'm really looking forward to it and I'm very thankful it's with all of you, the Heim guys. Um, Johnny, John, uh, Johnny, Johnny. Um. An important condition of the successful gathering is where everybody integrates, unifies, and um, has the same importance of the goal. So each individual in the process needs to gather around that importance. And then the purpose of such a gathering is for us to increase and escalate the level of connection, both locally and globally, so that we can be uh, Israel and perform our required duties in the face of what the world is, is being faced with. So it's definitely for dissemination. It's to get the word out there that there is a method of connection, that there is a level of integration that is required of the creatures in a, in, in a part or playing a part in creation. So these are very critical roles and very critical um, directions being given to us here and to the participants in that Congress. And let the reforming light assist us as we keep bringing a prayer. L'chaim. Fifi. All right, thank you very much, Johnny. Uh, um, the most important foundation of a successful gathering is uh, preparation. Uh, how best we can prepare for this Congress and uh, our effort in uh, order to disseminate other friends who also join this Congress here in Africa. And, uh, all Africans diaspora, we need them in this Congress as well. And uh, to make it short, the purpose of this gathering is to bestow love upon each other. We see the light of the freedom and the light that reforms here in Africa. 
for us to know that the Creator really loves us and because uh, we have brought back what we are having before to show it to the world. Uh, to give love to the Creator also, and to bring contentment to the Creator also. I think that the most important thing in the, the purpose of this campaign. My hand, friends, and uh, this time around, I will choose. Don't know. Wow, well, that's very hard to follow after the such great words of all the friends. Very, very powerful. It's like uh, you're really hearing the kings speak when you hear the friends. Um, yeah, this congress is. Um, I think. Uh, It's really an opportunity to open up uh, to the wisdom of Kabbalah to to the African people, to the African continent, um, and uh, we've been wait, waiting many many years to to hold an event of this nature in in Africa. Uh, it's very exciting. Uh, Rav has really opened up uh, opportunity. For us to, with no real sort of tough expectations, he's happy to come. Whatever and whoever will be there will be there. And uh, that just shows how he's really just excited to meet all the friends in face-to-face -face in, in Africa at this Congress. It's a real pleasure to see that. Um, uh, with Given that he's not traveling to Congresses at the moment, uh, and he's really excited to come to fly to Africa, so it's really very, very gives very warm feeling in, in all our hearts that our Rav will be there, uh, you know, with uh, open feeling to to this Congress. And the purpose of such a gathering is really to give awakening to uh, through the distribution, through the efforts that we're going to do now uh, to grow the the importance of Kabbalah for all the peoples of Africa through our different distribution methods in different countries. Uh, we have great people here with us. Everyone's got excellent capabilities. Uh, we're pushing for all the right support here at Bnei Baruch. Uh, Anthony's already started some initiatives um, and we've got support from all the friends. We had our meeting on Sunday. So everything's in place uh, to make this happen and to grow this capability. And uh, I really don't have any words. It's, uh, it's a real breakthrough that, uh, that the Creator has given us uh, open home, open, he's opened his gates and said, come. Uh, just we need to do a little bit of as much work as possible to make this happen. Uh, L'chaim. Uh, okay, we see Abdul with us. Uh, Abdul, are you able to talk, my friend? Abdul, can you speak? Okay, what about... Uh, oh. Abdul, can you... I think he's having some technical difficulties. He's back on mute now. Okay, it's okay. Who else didn't speak? Okay, who else? Is, uh, Chet, have you spoken? Yes, yes, I did. Yes. Ah, okay. What about Anthony, please? Um, I'm like full of joy and happiness about this Congress, um, but I think uh, there's a great responsibility, um, a great responsibility. But I really don't think. Um, I don't think that this is, uh, it's not our Congress, it's, look, you guys are, are, are just like us, you know, you're just in a different location. You you got the greatness of the goal, your points in the heart, you got your Rav, I'm pretty sure most of you got your books, you know, you got your group. This Congress is not for you. 
you're working for this Congress, but this Congress is not for you. It's not for me. It's not for any of us. This is for Africa. This is for the people. This is for the world. But it's it's this light is this light is radiating and it's coming out of Africa. If anybody can um, can unify the people, can bring the the points in the heart that that are out there scattered out throughout the African continent together. If anybody can unite Africa and make the conditions and make the corporeal and the spiritual conditions they're better. It's up to you guys. You're not doing this Congress for yourself. And that's one thing that I want everybody to understand and remember. It's not your Congress. This Congress is for the whole continent of Africa. You guys probably don't understand. And you probably won't understand it until after the Congress is over. But what you all have done, what you're doing, and what you're going to do is probably one of the most special gifts that we've seen in a long, 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 long time. And give me a second, I get a little, you know. Um, Behind friends. Hi. 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 Anybody tell you better not tell nobody I was crying. <laughs> <in. laughs> I bet not hear one word of this from nobody. Um all right, anyways. <sighs> Two second talk, I think. We heard some words from you. Thuso, you good now? Thuso was visiting somebody at the hospital. So, uh. I can't get it. Oh, no, look. Go yeah, ahead, Thuso. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean it, 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 it all began here in the South African soil with Adam Darishon almost 6,000 years ago when. With this uh, greatest uh, giant, giant before me, me with the, uh, as Reina was saying, the the the, 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 the pillars, pillars, you know, you know these uh, uh, friends, friends here uh, truly uh, in Jamar Tikkun, in, in the end of correction, they are huge, huge they are enormous. enormous. You know, I, I believe we, uh, it, it has, has uh, the, the potential, potential to end here again, just as it began a long time ago. Now we, 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 have, we have so, so much, much uh, so, so much, much uh, power of connection, connection amongst, amongst us, us. and uh, we, we, we can uh, easily connect, connect without, without calculating so much and uh, trying so, so much with the little effort, with little effort, so that, that, uh, that, that that's, that's how, how much, much we can connect. connect. And uh, I, I, I truly, truly believe, believe that uh, each and everyone here has got that uh, potential and, and ability to to push all the friends towards the end of correction. And uh, as, uh, as, as as you were saying right now, you know, we, it's 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 amazing. It's it's like the greatest gift that uh, the world, the worldly, the world can never have to have the, the Congress there in Ghana, in Africa. It's, 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 it's going to be so special. I cannot even put, put words to it. I feel it already that it's, it's, it did have started and it's happening, even though it's few months uh, uh, to come, but uh, uh, it, 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 it has started already. And uh, I believe we can do it because uh, We've got the greatest of the greatest friends of all. There are nothing or there is nothing that can compare to my friends. These friends are huge. And I thank you guys. Uh, you are the greatest. Uh, as Anthony was saying, man. Wow. Lechaim. Let's do it. Lechaim. Lechaim. Hi. Chaim Tuso. 
Anybody that hadn't spoke yet? Everybody had an opportunity to speak? So friends, just a few things. Uh, we're getting close to the, to the, to the time uh, to end, but a um, few things that we wanted to run through. Uh, so number one is we have uh, three friends so far that have written in uh, to join the, uh, the training uh, for instructors and lectures and things like that. So that was one thing that we wanted to discuss. Uh, just to let you guys know that we still have like another week or so uh, till we close it out. Uh, like I said the other day, I want to get everybody at one time. Um, for one, because we don't have much time. I mean, Af African Congress is one year away, but we really don't have much time. Um, preparation is everything in regards to this. So uh, just a little bit of what, uh, what, what we talked about on Sunday. If you want to be a lecturer, if you want to be a moderator for the upcoming EC courses that we're going to have, please write in. I want to try to get everybody together get it done, uh, get get the names on a list, pass them to the appropriate people. As we said before, it'll either be Mootlu teaching you or uh, either Mootlu, Terrence, or Marcos, one of the guys from the English department. So we wanted to make sure that we get that. It'll probably be over a Zoom. It probably won't be too many sessions or lessons. It should be really, really quick. Just giving you the basis and the breakdown of, of how we do things. Um, the next thing that I wanted to discuss with you guys is that we have a month of holidays coming up next month. Uh, so it's a great thing. Um, when we get the updated schedule for the month, we will provide it for you just in case there's some lesson changes or some things like that. Uh, lesson changes, also our meetings with, with you guys. If, if anything changes, we're going to provide you the information ASAP. Um, another thing that's very, very important is that we have, um, have discussed it, me and Johnny. Uh, we're, we also, we told you Sunday we got the clearance from the English department and also from Shimon to start running our campaigns on Facebook again. This is one of the reasons why it's so critical uh, to get at least one or two people in each region in, in South Africa and even in Nigeria would be great. And also Ghana, we've got people that have, that have signed up to, to be the lecturer and be the moderators. The reason why is because uh, when we start running these uh, Facebook ads, as we saw before, just one post reached over 10,000 people. We had a lot of new page likes, new shares, things of that nature. But also we had people writing in that wanted more information and wanted to be in contact with someone in their local area. So we want someone that we can point them out to and say, hey, you have someone in your, in your if you're in South Africa or if you're in Ghana or if you're wherever you're at, yes, we have groups there, we have people there, and then maybe you guys can meet and talk with them and things of that nature. Um, we gave a link out and I will resend it again we put from the fall semester all the course, the classes that me and Mutlu did from the beginner, what is Kabbalah, all the way to the end of the first semester in a shared doc. I'll share it with everyone again just so everybody has it. That's also something that you can, uh, you can share with new people. Um, and I think Godfrey's going to be using it, him and Uncle Dick and, uh, and, and Yao and Fifi will be using it for their young group there. It's a lot of different things that we can work on together. Um, because we don't have a set date for the EC, we, we, we somewhat wanted to drive uh, Facebook, get a lot of people in there, and then set up the EC from there. And hopefully by the time that we get everybody coming in through the Facebook and getting more people going to the right regions, that we can actually um, get you guys trained and then get the, the EC courses started. And then, of course, we'll need people to be there then to help with moderators in the breakout rooms and things of that nature. Gottfried helped us uh, the last year, uh, so he can fill you in about it as well. Uh, you can always reach out to him and ask questions. Uh, Bright helped as well with, uh, with the courses. Um, so we have a lot of support and a lot of help. What we want to do, one of the things that I was scared of was about running the posts 
is that I think we're going to be surprised and get really overwhelmed by people in Africa that are researching and looking for something, looking for the meaning of life, looking for the wisdom of Kabbalah. Uh, with a continent as big as Africa is, I'm sure there's thousands of points in the heart scattered out everywhere. And so we want to make sure that, uh, that we are properly able to receive them. Uh, one of the roles that we're going to need, and I don't know if, if you guys have ever formed one before, but you're going to need a welcoming and a social committee for these people as well. Um, so that's just something to think about for the future. Um, but that's about that. Does anybody have anything they wanted to add before we go? Because we got about two minutes. Okay. If... So grateful. We are all started downloading the material and giving them to our young group. So Anthony and Jono, we be a crowd, be African. It's so 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 grateful for for your support for our group. Lahaim, my friends. Lahaim. Damn. No, we're, we're, we're thankful for the opportunity to work with such great friends. And if there's something that you need from us, write to us, let us know, and we will do what we can to make sure that we provide it for you, or at least get you in contact with the right people here at the center that can help you, and, uh, and we can make everything go great together. Uh, Reinhard, I just you got something? Want to, I want to ask about the forum, like what I said last week about the when friends join the learning center that they on the website itself, after the lessons, there's a forum that they can uh, participate, or, you know, you have questions, so you, you have a topic, the various topics and questions are subdivided. And if you click on the links, it, it goes down levels. And then until you get the question with everybody's answer, so everybody can contribute and the moderators can also contribute. I'm asking about this because it will probably take somebody a while. You need, we need to get somebody to, to add it to the website, right? Definitely. So I, I saw the website that we have currently. I think um, I spoke with Johnny about it last week uh, after speaking with you. I think what we're going to do is try to revamp that website. Um, so when we get the EC, the new EC started, it will have the form. We'll make sure that it has a form for people. And it can be an ongoing thing, so that way we, they can keep in contact, ask questions, have monitors over it. I think it's a great idea, and I think it's wonderful. And it also gives people um, a sense of feeling that they're never alone. You know, they can always see a post there. They can always see something there, and it, it can kind of keeps it going for them. So it was a great idea, and, and it, it, it has been addressed, and it will be there uh, when we get started. All right, guys, look, it's uh, 2130, uh, 930. If, is it 930? Yeah. yeah. I get to 20s, and I just know 1 through 12. Um, I'm still adjusting after all these years of being here. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to read the closing intention. If something comes up and you need something, WhatsApp, Facebook message, email, whatever it takes, reach out to us, and we'll be here to help you out, okay? We love you guys. Really, really excited about uh, this Congress. And we're going to work together to make it a big success. So, Big Lahaim Africa. Johnny, you want to read us the closing intention? Lahaim Africa. Lahaim, friends. <laughs> Anthony, why don't you read it, buddy? What to look for in the Assembly of Friends. Article number 30, 1987-88. What, what to look for in the Assembly of Friends, Article Number 30, 1987 and 1988, through 1988, sorry. But the friends should primarily speak together about the greatness of the Creator, because according to the greatness of the Creator, that one assumes, to that extent, he naturally annuls himself before him. It is as we see in nature that the small one annuls before the great one. And this has nothing to do with spirituality. Rather, this conduct applies even among the secular people. In other words, the Creator made nature this way. Thus, the friends' discussions of the greatness of the Creator awaken a desire and craving to annul before the Creator because he begins to feel a longing and desire to bond with the Creator. 
And we should also remember that to the extent that the friends can appreciate the importance and greatness of the Creator, we should still go above reason, meaning that the Creator is higher than any greatness of the Creator that a man can imagine. We should say that we believe above reason that He leads the world in a benevolent guidance. And if one believes that the Creator wishes only man's best, it makes a person love the Creator until he is rewarded with, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. And this is what a person needs to receive from the friends. Laheim friends. Lila Tarn, see you guys later. Have a great night. Yeah. See you in the lesson. Bye-bye. Yeah.